समस्त जन कल्याणे निरत करुणामय नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म ब्रह्म विधर वसुदेवसुत देव कंस चाणूर मर्दनम देव की परमानंदम कृष्णम वंदे जगदुरु okay we start with verse 19 today we had finished verse 18 now this chapter has enumerated 36 values in all you know so it's in groups it's in parts and here this is now look at this last one tulya ninda sutir mone santushto yena kena chit अनिकेत स्थिर मते भक्तिमान में प्रियो नर नाउ दिस सेज टू हूम सेंश्योर एंड प्रेज आर इक्वल हु इज साइलेंट कॉन्टेंट विद एनीथिंग होमलेस स्टडी माइंडेड फुल ऑफ डिवोशन दैट मैन इज डियर टू मी नाउ हैव अ लुक एट दिस इफ यू गो बाय द लिटरल ट्रांसलेशन देन लुक एट दिस content with anything censure and praise is the same thing to that person hmm aur kya hai homeless this is big big thing believe me very big thing homeless steady minded full of devotion that man is dear to me now when you see something like this you say bhaiya mujhe nahi karna hai na i don't want to go this path at all because why i don't want to become silent and homeless and without any reaction of any sort kuch bhi hota rahe and i am on the road i mean aise thodi nobody wants to do something like this so this comes in with a lot of criticism lots and lots of criticism hmm? now see this to whom censure and praise are equal last time i had told you that uh, criticism or praise is evaluated by the intellect now such this man has gone beyond the intellect because he understands that criticism has got no value and praise has got no value believe me think about it carefully criticism when you get criticism from somebody it is the mind of that man interpreting your action or your words or anything about you your dress or your food or whatever it is now that is his interpretation of what you have done by his condemning you or praising you you do not become like that leave that aside but even if you are very great and you are being praised or that you are very down and out and really a wicked person and you're being criticized for it it does not matter to the man of realization or a yogi because he has risen above the body level only when you criticize somebody you are criticizing his bmi body mind and intellect isn't it because that is with what you act you speak you act with your body mind and intellect so he is criticizing that and that you are not because for how long are you your body mind and intellect tell me that how long are you there so his criticism meaningless after a little while his praise meaningless after a little while so how much importance do you want to attach to it does your world go upside down because he is criticizing you or that he is praising you why think about it any intelligent person will think now here is a yogi so a yogi to bilkul dhyan se ha huh? so it make he realizes that anybody can be criticized no matter how good you are you can be criticized believe me we have cases of even sita ji look at sita ji even she was criticized 
by a common man, a, a kind of a laborer. So, and she was a queen and so pure. So this thing, please understand, has got no meaning. People will do. People who are being praised today will be criticized tomorrow. Those who are being criticized today will be praised tomorrow. All the time this keeps on happening. Look at all these big, big politicians or thing. Look at Mr. Modi or look at anybody. Ek minute mein Supreme Court ka case chal raha hai. Condemning him as a criminal, as a murderer. Next time they say that no, no, he is none of that. He is, that was all wrong. And he is this, he is that. Kya rakha hai? Anyway, now then he is silent. Silent doesn't mean that his tongue is chopped off. Silence doesn't mean that he stitched his lips and that he will never speak again. That is not the meaning of silence here. I have told you that to take literally the words of the scripture in the dictionary meaning is a very big mistake. Most of the words in the scriptures are suggestive and they are suggestive of something much deeper, much higher. Now silence, true silence, belongs to the mind. When the speech is silent and the mind is chattering or the mind is chattering with this one, that one, that one, that one and all kinds of things the mind is bringing up, that is not true silence. So see here it is. I don't remember who it was. I think it was Aristotle. And he has said something very, very interesting. He says, where to speak, how to speak, how much to speak, with whom to speak, hmm? and what to speak, and what not to speak, and when to speak and when to remain silent is a very, very fine art. This is very interesting. People use their speech very foolishly. Whatever is coming in your mind, you just speak it out. That is the most foolish person. Always think before you open your mouth. Always think before you speak. Always think of what will be the consequences of your speech and what will be the reaction of your speech on the other person that you are speaking to. Very few people do that. Ye to ho gai speech ki sadhana. Vani ka tap. It is known in our scriptures as Vani ka tap. This silence. Silence of the mind is Vani ka tap. Log maun vrat karte. Aaj mera maun vrat hai. Ek ghante ka maun vrat hai. Achha. Aur us maun vrat mein kar kya rahe hai aap? Likh likh ke notes pass kar rahe hai. And all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You going on doing with actions, that means your mind is running all the time. And your mind is running all the time and you are all the time showing your agitation, you are showing your anger, you are showing... So all that is happening to you, kaha ka silence hai? Is that any silence of the mind? No, no, it is not a silence of the mind. So when there is continuous total peace in the mind and the mind is in a state of total equipoise, it has glided into a kind of a peace, total peace. That is what is called silence. Otherwise, those people who do it forcefully, forcing speech into silence, but the mind going on running, Gurudev used to say that they land up in the mental hospital because it is a suppression. It's a suppression of the mind. Don't do that. Don't do that. So take up mourn, perfect mourn. If you take it up. And the best way to do it, remove yourself from people and remove yourself from any kind of agitational situation or circumstance. Try to do your jap, money man. You don't have to continuously be doing jap with your hands and also jap with your mouth. No, no. Mansik jap kariye. Continuous mansik jap kariye. That will help you to make your mind silent. Okay. Now, content with anything. This contentment with anything 
is a thing that when the mind is silent, when the mind is peaceful, no desires jump up in your mind. No desires present themselves in a dreadful form and whip you up into activity. They don't. So when they don't do that, then you are content with anything. See, just try this. This is a beautiful thing, content with anything. Whatever comes your way, simplicity in living is the best spirituality you can have. The simpler you make your life, the more content you will be. You don't need so many things. You know, you hear of people having 1,000 pairs of footwear, 5,000 pairs of dresses. What are you doing with them? And who cares what footwear you have worn which day? Really. How does it matter? If you are a beautiful person, by person I am not saying good looking in looks, if you are a beautiful human being, people look at you for yourself. They don't look at what footwear you are wearing. And if you think that your personality is enhanced by a certain footwear, then you are less than that footwear. That footwear adds one plus to your personality. So the footwear is higher than you. It is greater than you. Because it adds to your value. Think about it. You yourself are the person who should be valuable, valuable to the society. So here, content with anything, when you are satisfied with something, you don't make demands on the world. And leave aside demands on the world, which may agitate the world around you, you yourself are content and peaceful. You don't need to run around. You don't need to all the time feel agitated. Oh, I don't have this. I don't have this. I don't have that. So contentment and contentment is not forced. It is not forced on you. Contentment happens through vairagya. As you progress in spirituality, contentment comes on its own. The higher you are in spirituality, the more content you are. This is, a, this is a yardstick of measuring spirituality. You do not insist on getting this and that and this and that. Happy. Somebody said a very good sentence that when every alternative is as good as the other, Look at this sentence. Whether situation or person or thing, when every other alternative is as good as the other, you are contented. You are a contented person. Contented person does not mean you give up food, you give up clothes. No. It only means jo hai wo theek hai. Jo hai wo acha hai. There was one person like this. Huh? We were negotiating a marriage proposal. And this person used to say, Unse poochte te, ye theek hai. Wo kehte te, jo aapki marzi. Jo aapki marzi. So we named him Jam. Jam is jo aapki marzi. <laughs> because, you know, he was so contented a person. Nice, beautiful. And also he said, आप कुछ अगर भेजेंगे हमारे लिए गिफ्ट्स तो हम वो वापस कर देंगे बिकॉज़ हमारी पॉलिसी है हमारे प्रिंसिपल्स हैं दैट वी डू नॉट एक्सेप्ट एनीथिंग फ्रॉम द अदर साइड इन अ मैरिज सो दिस पर्सन सी द कंटेंटमेंट इन द माइंड सी द जेंटलमैनलीनेस द जेनेरोसिटी द कंटेंटमेंट द पीस दैट ही ब्रॉट इन सो हियर Content with anything, huh? Uh, achha, this is also, Gurudev writes that this is the only intelligent attitude in life. <laughs> because apart from whatever it does to others, it this is the only attitude that can make you happy. Believe me, it does. The person who is content is a rich human being. 
the person whose content is a happy human being he is a peaceful person and peace brings true joy true happiness into the life of any human being so see the logic of it see how psychologically true this is okay and otherwise you know all sincere seekers must strive through discrimination develop a vairagya and through vairagya comes contentment acha now this is an interesting one homeless homeless is what hmm what is a home home is a pers- home is a place which gives you peace physical comfort it shelters you from rain and snow and heat and cold right and it is a place where you feel secure this is what a home is isn't it now then when you say homeless huh, it is not that you are out onto the road it this that's not what it means it means ownership when you become a householder see the name householder one who holds the house is a whole householder and one on whom the one whom the house holds have you heard of people who say are सब लोग शादी में चले जाएंगे तो घर पे कौन रहेगा भाई घर पे रहने की जरूरत क्या है नो नो समबडी हैज टू गार्ड द हाउस समबडी हैज टू गार्ड द हाउस नॉट गार्ड यू हां लुकिंग आफ्टर द हाउस हैव यू हर्ड दैट फ्रेज आई लुक आफ्टर द हाउस तो फॉर हुम आर यू लिविंग फॉर द हाउस most of the people themselves go on creating work for themselves in the house definitely the house should be neat clean hygienic food should be provided all that is there but undue importance given to the house and its decoration and all that you can go on and on and on that means what happens is that your life gets possessed by the house so when you say homeless it only means that not bound by the home not bound by the house that your lifestyle and your mind is not conditioned by the house that is what homeless means ha huh? and you have to pull down the conditionings of your mind and look what gurudev says to free himself from all sense of possession वही मैंने जो कहा शुरू में दैट द हाउस शुड नॉट होल्ड यू एंड यू शुड नॉट बी होल्डिंग द हाउस वॉट इज नेसेसरी डू नो बडी इज सेंग डोंट इट इज अ ड्यूटी ऑफ अ गृहस्थ टू लुक आफ्टर द हाउस बट अनड्यू इंपॉर्टेंस गिवन अनड्यू सेंस ऑफ पोजेशन दैट विल ट्रबल यू that will bring a lot of unhappiness and restlessness irritability into your mind which don't do please don't do that is what homeless means okay see agar aap ye kahen that living under a roof is a house you if you say that that is what this verse means that upar chhat honi chahiye where you can sleep तो गुरुदेव यूज टू से छत तो कहीं भी हो सकती है इट कैन बी इन अ टेम्पल इट कैन बी अंडर अ ट्री इट कैन बी अ रेलवे प्लेटफॉर्म इट कैन बी एन इन इट कैन बी एनी प्लेस और अ होटल तो अ होटल अ टेम्पल अंडर अ ट्री और अ रेलवे प्लेटफॉर्म डज नॉट बिकम अ होम सो दिस डेफिनेशन इज रॉन्ग दैट दे शुड बी अ रूफ अब माई हेड that is not the definition of a home so obviously he must be meaning something different here the meaning of the word home is different from the shelter above your head it means ownership here home means ownership as i have told you that you know you get attached 
so attached to the comforts of the home you get so attached to all that the home provides that living without it is discomfort for you have you heard people saying ghar jaisa aaram kahan because here you have a sense of ownership even if you stay in the best possible hotel you don't get a sense of ownership you always know that you are there for a short time and you will leave to wahan pe tap kharab ho raha hai ya light nahi jal rahi hai ya geezer nahi kaam kar raha hai is none of your business isn't it because that sense of ownership is not there with the sense of ownership come all the troubles and all the irritabilities and problems unless you learn to distance yourself from your home be in your home look after it by all means but look after it as a housekeeper looks after the owner's house an owner has employed a domestic help that domestic help his mind is peaceful wo kaam dham sab kar raha hai but any problem that happens in that house is not his problem he has a sense of detachment That reminds me, ये देखो sense of ownership की बात आपको बताऊँ There was this man, I think there were riots going on, and his house was set ablaze by somebody. He was sitting just and looking at the trees. So some man came running and running to him. Hey 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 hey. You know he said, hey hey hey. There's fire fire. So this man says. what have i got to do with the fire so he said listen fire is okay your house is on fire so he said then what have you got to do with it now you see this is this is a joke on ownership just think about it he is not bothered if other people's house is on fire and he is telling that other person why are you bothered if my house is on fire of course it's a stupid kind of joke but the, it only means that it is only ownership that should get the concern ownership breeds irritability ownership breeds all the other problems that can be hmm? so so a true devotee gurudev says considers the entire world entire home as his home it is a very comfortable feeling to feel if you are walking in a park hmm, just think that this whole park belongs to me my father the lord has created this park for my comfort for my walk and what a beautiful feeling you get what a beautiful feeling you get ha na ha similarly a tree that is planted in the neighbor's house and the fruits are falling into your house what a comfortable feeling that tree is not mine i just get the fruits think of this kind of feeling through the entire universe that the lord has created for you go anywhere and feel the comfort of your home you do not have the problem of that place but you have the comfort of that place all sanyasis roam around all sanyasis go and live in other people's homes or they live in temples or they live under trees and all that ha huh? aur unko koi chinta nahi hai duniya mein because they have a total vairagya for that place they are there for a few days and then they go from there you should also get this feeling that this house wherever you are living is given to you by the lord to look after only for a few days after which you are gone and ownership changes ownership changes so mentally give up the ownership now <coughs> that is what this means ha huh? so with this understanding and with this uh, uh, vairagya in your mind live in the world and such a man he says is dear to me now such a man is a very high yogi a man who is spiritually very high otherwise we are always like worms in our world and we keep on spinning in our world and we do not breathe the fresh air of vairagya 
विच इज आउटसाइड दिस इस परिनिधि के बाहर जाइए ओके कम टू द लास्ट वर्स ये तो धर्म्यामृतम इदम यथोक्तम पर युपासते श्रद्धा नाम पदमत परमा भक्त ते ते अतीव मे प्रिया दे इन डीड हु फॉलो दिस इमोटल धर्म लॉ ऑफ लाइफ एज डिस्क्राइब्ड अबव एंड ड्यूड विद फेथ रिगार्डिंग मी एज द सुप्रीम गोल सच डेविटीज आई एक्सीडिंगली डियर टू मी नाउ सी दे इन डीड हु फॉलो दिस इमोटल धर्म दिस धर्म that means the values which he has enumerated if you follow these and he calls them immortal law of life immortal of like that see by gurudev used to say that by living these values you will rise above the leprous wounds that desire and conflict inflict on you and those wounds never heal they never heal because you go on scratching them <coughs> and gurudev used to say they only ooze pus and blood pus and blood and you go on because that wound is dear to you you don't let that wound heal and so he used to say that make life beautiful for yourself by following these values huh all your agitations will be cured that peace will descend on your soul through vairagya alone nothing else and a true devotee is firm in his devotion not that devotion which comes and goes like us like our devotion no 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 kabhi kabhi to bahut hota hai especially when we are in trouble huh then the devotion really rises and vairagya also rises mujhe kya karna hai mujhe koi matlab nahi hai na all those kind of thoughts come so devotion should come with the conviction that he is my father my lord he has created so much for me and he has been looking after me and he will keep looking after me all my life with that conviction to him hmm? surrender to him and no matter what situations he takes you through understand that they might be for your benefit a father and mother do they create any situation for a child which will not benefit the child or which will not give happiness to the child think about it when worldly fathers mothers care take so much care for the child and even if the child has to go through some kind of suffering because of that for some greater gain the parents allow that suffering ramcharit manas has an example that the mother mother with a kind of a stone heartedness allows the doctor to operate on a big boil that her baby has the baby is screaming and shouting but the mother is holding on to the baby that ultimately what the doctor is doing is going to cure my child similarly understand that that father if he is giving you pain of some sort bear with it with the understanding that you never know what good he has in mind for me he is making me go through this problem making me go through this trouble so that ultimately i may benefit that i may rise my ego must finish maybe he wants that so surrender to him you know that hindi song bahut diya dene wale ne tujhko aachal hi na samaye to kya kijiye that means no matter and he is giving you so much think about it things which you can't live without he has given you free air water hai na sab kuch your who is making your heart beat who is making your body digest food who is making you learn 
intelligently, speak intelligently, get your education. It is all him. Your body, mind and intellect is just flesh and bones and blood. They can do nothing. They are matter. Destroyed in one minute. <coughs> if, his <coughs> if his grace is not there. Think about it. Right? So, <coughs> don't ask him for anything. Become like a Buddha. Become like a Nachiketa. Become like a Jesus. Who forgive all and ask for, <coughs> ask for nothing. Just go by his will. Thy will be done, not mine, not mine, as the Bible says. Try to live that way. Try to live that way. And here it is, <coughs> the list of qualities, these 36 qualities. Revise them again and again. As Gurudev used to say, householders, grahasthas should live by these. Try to achieve even one of them. Believe me, even one of them, if you try to do so much of peace, you will get in the bargain. So, again and again, we have to try this. Okay. Om Tatsadite Srimad Bhagavad Gita So Upanishastu Brahma Vidyayam Yoga Shastre Sri Krishna Arjuna Samvade Bhakti Yoga Nam Dvadashodhyayah Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamadachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Gurabhyo Namaha Hari Om